So let's let's just um, talk about Greg Berhalter. He landed the head coaching and and director of operations uh, with uh, the Chicago Fire. He's going to begin as soon as this season ends. And okay, he's, cool. I mean, he's he, he literally, wasn't. And, he's yeah. literally uh, Thibodeau of the New York Knicks. He is the head coach and head of operations. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, that's wild. Um, yeah, yeah. He's dude, uh, I, that's called falling forward, right? You know. <laughs> uh, failing up yeah. yeah um he he uh i mean he he was an nwsl coach before that's kind of where he belonged in my in our opinion anyway so this is th- this is where he belongs and he's i mean i think he 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 definitely is good about building the camaraderie part of it you know and and in in nwsl when you i mean in nwsl in, in mls when you don't have to worry about relegation if you can build camaraderie and guys like like each other and play well with each other that that could get the job done in MLS. MLS is kind of a dog shit league, if we're being honest. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So so there's an opportunity there for him to succeed, to be sure. Um, let's talk about his old job, U.S. Men's National Team. They get a two nil win against Panama in Austin, and that was Pochettino's first match as manager. Um, I think he's got another he, he, one, right? It's coming up soon. Uh, it's coming up tomorrow. I was going to get yeah. to that in a second. So. Um, Yunus Musa gets the uh, goal in the 49th minute, four minutes out of halftime. Whatever, it, whatever tweaks he made, he made them. And then Ricardo Pepe, guy that scores whenever he plays, guy that basically saved uh, Berhalter's job the first time, but didn't take him with him to the, to the World Cup. You know, God, yeah. uh, fucking Berhalter. Anyway, um, he's gone now. We don't have to worry about that. I can't believe, I can't believe it. Like so. So uh, men and blazers were actually really funny about this. They're like, uh, we don't overreact to friendlies, but the U S is winning the world cup, baby. <laughs> so, um, Dude, uh, yeah, the, they're, they're the craziest thing. Okay. Um, who's our defender with the long blonde hair? Um, Tim Wea. Okay. He went out and said, they said, Oh, how is it having poach as your coach? And he goes, poach is your coach. <laughs> Anyways, he goes, um, it was crazy. We practiced for two hours mm-hmm. and I was like, you, you've never practiced for two hours with Borhalter as your coach ever. Yeah. What, what did you, you guys don't play together that often. You know, you're, you got a lot of camaraderie with your home team or with your, your home club, but you yeah. don't play together. It's like what? Yeah. It, you it, should it, be it, practicing together a lot. It's what you can. It, it, it sounds like the U S men's national team hasn't been like, you know, running, like building up the running and the fitness like that since Bob Bradley, you know, the early two thousands when, when they, when they had that, that miracle run into the, uh, into the quarterfinals in the world cup in 2002, like that's the last time they were running like this, you know, it's crazy. Like I don't need you doing the sprint drills, right. Cause you do that probably with, with your home club, but you should be practicing drills and, and, and set pieces for two hours minimum i mean right come on man <laughs> what were we yeah. doing yeah i it, it's I, I i i didn't like until he said it i didn't realize that that wasn't happening and i get like the first practice you know maybe sure. you're not running them as hard and poach was doing that for that first practice but to to, to never ever yeah not once it's, it's crazy man. games are two hours long guys I mean, you get the the halftime in the middle, but it's you know forty. You run for forty five. You get halftime. You run for another forty five, and stop at time as well. Like, come on, it's two every, hours for every a game. sport. I'm, every sport has God. a simulated game. Okay, you're telling me the U.S. men's national team never fully simulated a game. It never happened. Yeah, not once during training. That's crazy. Not not in the last you know decade and a half at least. Um, Anyways, may, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I'd have to look back. Maybe he was exaggerating slightly when when he when he said, you know, when he said how far it's been. But I mean, may, maybe Jurgen Klinsmann did it a little bit at the beginning when he first got there. But I, I mean, sure. to to say it never happened. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're moving on. So the next match is this coming Tuesday against Mexico. Um, so five players uh, have been uh, sent home back to their club teams, uh, dismissed from camp. Uh, those players are Christian Pulisic going back to AC Milan, uh, Marlon Fossey going back to Standard League, 
Uh, Weston McKinney going back to Juventus. Ricardo who, Pepe. Who, he didn't. He got taken off uh, the game this week. Uh, I don't know yeah. if he's dealing with an injury right now, but that well, sucks. He, I mean, Weston McKinney didn't play at all uh, in the game, and he's so he's not playing at all um, uh, for in this round. That's fair. Uh, which is not, I mean, he kind of earned it, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Uh, excuse me, Ricardo Pepe's going back to PSV Eindhoven, and Zach Steffen is going back to the Colorado Rapids. So they're uh, they're going to return to the club sides. They're not playing in this game. Um, and they're not getting any replacement players either. So it's just this friendly uh, in Guadalajara. Uh, that's that's who we got. So this is the first time actually U.S. men's national team are playing a friendly on the road in forever as well. Probably hmm. since Jurgen Klinsmann, you know, it's, which it's is ridiculous good. as well.